Who's a player uh, for Coop this off season? That's been a. I gotta shoot him up a tier. This is a player I'm targeting. Who's been the Coop's guy this off season? So yeah, for me, it's uh, it's been DK Metcalf, dude. DK Metcalf is the guy for me. And the big thing is that I've been looking at, uh, you know, first of all, the age apex for wide receivers generally age 26 to 29. Truly elite guys can carry that on past to 30 and beyond. Like, I mean, Jerry Rice had the second best season of all time at 32, right? Like uh, Marvin Harrison's best season was 30 years old. Randy Randy Moss's best season was 30 years old. But for the most part, 26 to 29 is that age apex. So anytime I can look around and grab guys that are 25 years old, 26 years old, I feel like I'm getting away with, I feel like people look at those guys and think they've been around for a while and they're getting older when in reality, they're actually hitting their stride. And when I look at DK Metcalf, this guy was built for every format in the sense that uh, there's no substitute for touchdowns. And he's the only wide receiver in the league that's gotten 14 or more end zone targets three years in a row. Like the, he led the, he led the league in end zone targets this last year. Like they're not going to stop going to him. doesn't matter who the quarterback is, whether it's Russell Wilson or Geno Smith. And for me, I, I just think he's now hitting his stride. You know, um, are you worry? But with guys that size, you worry about longevity, right? Like uh, Des Bryant, the wheels kind of fell off. Also, you know, it's kind of hard to talk about it. Uh, it's difficult to talk about these guys and their personal lifestyle. But I know that, you know, DK Metcalf says he eats a bag of candy every day and goes out and parties and stuff. I don't know if I really love that. But I mean, he's just a guy that he's a freak. And I, and I think he should be in the top tier when he's not quite in the tier. Where did he go in this draft here? So he went four or six and there's absolutely no world where he should be going. Well, a after Christian Watson, that's, that's what I'm saying for me, yeah, but that's... you know, Jackson Smith and Jigba, I, I have him before that pick. So I, I, I do agree. He's closer to wide receiver 10 than he is wide receiver 16 where he went on this board. So right. I would agree. Metcalf there is a, a tremendous value. We've got a lot of trades. We've reviewed a lot of trades and DK has been a really popular one. Um, every time people ask about a tear down option, when you're talking a player, like in the Waddle tier, you're looking, who can I move down from and collect a good amount of value? DK Metcalf is always the first name that comes up because managers just seem to be really torn on him. As you mentioned, he's still young, but that, but he seems like a guy who's been around for a while and you know, even on his own team, I think his role is pretty darn safe. Uh, as much as we love Lockett to the channel, he's not getting any younger. DK's, he's the guy there. They extended their quarterback that he connected well with. I don't think there are concerns for DK Metcalf's production next season where there was last offseason, which is right. why it made sense that he fell to about where he's going right now. But the fact that his value hasn't really recovered the same way you would have expected it to, given the stabilization at the team level, I would agree that DK Metcalf is a glaring value. Yeah, the one thing I'd like to see from them is they they really ask him to do uh, the difficult jobs, right? They they put him out wide. He has to face. He has to line up at split end with his foot tethered to the line. He has to face the top corner. I'd like for them to find a way to mix him in in the slot or move him around, get him easier to catch balls. I think that's why his catch rate is low and he has like virtually no yak. Like you have got you got this freakazoid athlete. Uh, you look back at a guy like Des Bryant and how they would just hit him with slants, right? And they would just and he would just take him to the house. You know what I mean? Just how many times do you see Des? I've seen Des Bryant run back punts. You know what I mean? just get the guy in space this big guy very difficult to take down i feel like with metcalf they're kind of just playing chuck it up to him i want to see them get a little more creative and and put this guy in space and and have have safeties looking at this guy with a head full of steam and have to start making business decisions because i feel like they're not taking enough advantage of of that side of his game and if you look at it dk had no yak last year and i think part of that is you know uh, he's got to obviously work on his skill set, but if they put him in better position, then you're going to see results.